Your priests, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Have mercy on us, O Lord, for we have sinned against you. Show us, O Lord, your mercy and grant us your salvation. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Almighty, ever-living God, who gave St. Anthony of Padua to your people as an outstanding preacher and an intercessor in their need, grant that with his assistance, as we follow the teachings of the Christian life, we may know your help in every trial. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first book of Kings. At the mountain of God, Horeb, Elijah came to a cave. Pardon me. That was yesterday's reading. A reading from the first book of Kings. Elijah set out and came upon Elisha, son of Shaphat, as he was plowing with 12 yoke of oxen. He was following the 12th. Elijah went over to him and threw his cloak over him. Elisha left the oxen, ran after Elijah and said, Please, let me kiss my father and mother goodbye, and I will follow you. Elijah answered, Go back. Have I done anything to you? Elisha left him, taking the yoke of oxen, slaughtered them. He used the plowing equipment for fuel to boil their flesh and gave it to his people to eat. Then he left and followed Elijah as his attendant. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. You are my inheritance, O Lord. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Keep me, O God, for in you I take refuge. I say to the Lord, my Lord are you. O Lord, my allotted portion and my cup, you it is who hold fast my lot. You are my inheritance, O Lord. I bless the Lord who counsels me. Even in the night my heart exhorts me. I set the Lord ever before me. With him at my right hand I shall not be disturbed. You are my inheritance, O Lord. Therefore my heart is glad and my soul rejoices. My body too abides in confidence. Because you will not abandon my soul to the netherworld nor will you suffer your faithful one to undergo corruption. You are my inheritance, O Lord. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said to your ancestors, do not take a false oath, but make good to the Lord all that you vow. But I say to you, do not swear at all, not by heaven, for it is God's throne, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Do not swear by your head, for you cannot make a single hair white or black. Let your yes mean yes, and your no mean no. Anything more is from the evil one. 
the Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Elisha was certainly a, a, a brilliant person. He, he became, came from what would be known as a very wealthy family of his own time. And um, when Elijah threw the cloak over him, he knew that he was going off to do something for God. And the first thing he does may sound odd to our ear, ears. He kills the oxen with which he was plowing the field, and he burns the plow as fuel to cook the wood, to cook the, to cook the food, and then he gives it to his family. In many, many ways, he was putting aside his old life when he did that, to take away the major tool of his life, of his livelihood, and burn it and, um, and feed it to his family, was saying that he was absolutely going to follow Jesus. 1,100 years later, we have St. Anthony. I'm sorry, not 1,100 years later. That was 1,100 years ago. We have St. Anthony, who did the same thing in many, many ways. He was born of a noble family, and he decided that he wanted to follow St. Francis. He was a, a colleague of St. Francis. He knew him. He was around during that time. And um, he gave up the wealth of his noble family in order to follow uh, the Lord, in order to, be, to live the way that St. Francis was living, um, to live the way that Jesus lived. And one of his greatest desires in his heart was to become a martyr for the faith. He boarded a boat in, in Lisbon. He um, was taking it to Africa where the wars were going on, the Crusades. And he decided that if he went there, he would become a martyr for the faith. But God, of course, had other plans. If you want to make God laugh, just make a plan. Um, a great storm came up on the Mediterranean on his way there, and the boat blew to the complete other side of the Mediterranean and docked in Venice on the complete other side of the ocean, of the, of the sea there. And when he um, disembarked from there, he had to stay there for a while, and after a while, people got to know him and knew him as a great preacher. And over the years, he wrote to um, Francis and asked if he could set up a school that he could teach theology and scripture, because those were things that he studied before he became a follower of Francis. And Francis said no every time, until one time he said yes. And that's what Anthony did. He set up a school for the Franciscan brothers that they might learn scripture, that they might learn theology, that they might learn what, it, what the importance of being a good preacher. Anthony was so popular um, when he died at the age of 36 that he was called um, Saint Anthony of Padua when he, when he was um, canonized. But if you go to Portugal today, they don't recognize him under that, under that name. They call him Saint Anthony of Lisbon because he was from Lisbon. And we remember Anthony of Lisbon, Anthony of Padua, the great preacher today, who calls us to follow Jesus, just as he followed Jesus, and Francis followed Jesus, and Elisha followed God. My intentions for today's Mass are for the living and deceased members of the Knights of Columbus and its benefactors, for the departed souls, for the intention of Marla and Alan Lopez, and for Marie Rivera. With hope rooted in faith, we turn to Almighty God with our prayers and petitions. For those discerning priesthood or religious life, May the Holy Spirit strengthen them and give them wisdom in their decision-making. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For state and federal legislatures, may God inspire them in enacting policies that support human life and dignity. Let us pray to the Lord. For those suffering from despair, may God's peace comfort them. Let us pray to the Lord. 
for members of this faith community. May the Holy Spirit fill us with a zeal for evangelization. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our beloved dead, may they enjoy eternal life in paradise. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For safety for everyone during this pandemic, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Merciful Father, kindly hear the prayers we bring to you today through your Son, Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. Receive, O Lord, we pray, the offerings placed on your altar in commemoration of blessed Anthony, so that as you brought him glory, you may, through these sacred mysteries, grant to us your pardon through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For as on the festival of St. Anthony, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life. Teach her by his words of preaching and keep her safe in answer to your prayers, to his prayers. And so with the company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise, as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. 
Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O Lord, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church, spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope and John our Bishop and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with the blessed apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. At the Savior's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let us offer each other the sign of peace.
Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. May partaking at the heavenly table, almighty God, confirm and increase strength from on high in all who celebrate the feast day of blessed Anthony, that we may preserve in integrity the gift of faith and walk in the path of salvation you trace for us. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. The Mass is ended. Go in peace. Thanks be to God.